Hello everyone, my name is Brady. And I'm Tom. And today we're gonna to be tearing down this 2019 Mac Pro. I'm super excited because we're gonna be taking this down to its bare bones and showing you all of its guts. But first, we got to open up the case, show you what's inside. This doesn't avoid the warranty, does it? So the power buttons on the case, uh, do you, have to, you don't have to disconnect the wire or anything? Nope, it's little, little electrical prongs there. Makes contact with it. Right now that we got it open, it looks very modular and accessible. What's the first part or first step to taking this apart? Well, Tom, first we're gonna follow these nifty little number indicators here so we can get all the PCI cards out. After that, we're gonna get to the CPU heatsink here and pull that, just get that out of the way. But first, let's get these screws undone. All right, first we're gonna remove all these. Now, if you've ever had a Mac Pro 5.1, you know how difficult these are to get in there. Apple put these neat little pins on here to line those up, makes it super easy. All right, Brady, what's this first card you're gonna take out? Well, Tom, this is our I.O. card. It has the two USB-A ports, the Thunderbolt, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and the 3.5 millimeter jack there. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Now we're gonna be removing the afterburner card. Oh, what's the afterburner card do? It's a PCI accelerator for ProRes Codex. Let's get that out of there. All right, now we're gonna be removing the MPX module here. First, in order to do that, let's get this Infinity Fabric Link Jumper out of the way. Uh, what does that do? This actually allows faster data transfer between the two GPU modules on here. We have the Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo card, which is actually two GPUs on this card with two by 32 gigabytes of high memory bandwidth on there. All right, we just gotta pop this lock here and then we can pull it out. Oh, this is a hefty card. This is huge, quite heavy. And you can have two of those installed, right? Yes, you could have two. Next, we just want to slide all these covers out. Just get those out of the way. Don't want them falling around on us. All right, and the last step here is the power supply. There's one screw right here. Just gotta get that out of the way. And then we could pop it out. All right, now with all that out of the way, Tom, we're gonna to be taking out the heat sink for the CPU, but first we gotta lay this on its back. You wanna help me out with that? Okay. Thank you. There's a couple screws we gotta remove first, and then we'll be able to get to this. All right, we're gonna take off the lid here so we can get to the rest of the heat sink. Well, we got a couple more screws to go and then we could finally get this out of here. I wanna alternate here so we don't put uneven pressure on the CPU just as we loosen them. It looks like it has one fan just dedicated to the CPU cooling. Yes, one big old fan. To cool down this big old heat sink. So is this the processor with the goo on it? Yes, that's the uh, 12 core processor with the thermal paste on it there you can see. We'll be cleaning that off and taking a closer look of it shortly, but we're gonna leave it on there for now. All right, so we flipped it over, and what are we looking at here? Well, we got the two uh, memory areas. We're gonna be getting rid of those, getting the memory out. And we got the speaker in the middle we're gonna be popping out. Let's go ahead and open up these first. Then we can pop out the memory dims. Now 
Now we could get the speaker, which all you gotta do is slide it to the side. Requires a little force. You wanna be careful because you got a uh, wire on the back side here. Hey, I noticed on these uh, RAM covers that they have this diagram. What's that all about? Well, Tom, these uh, graphics here indicate how you lay out your memory based on how many modules you have. Helps you keep the, uh, the matching modules in the correct channels. All right, so we're gonna remove the, uh, the ducting here for the fan. It's a little push in there at first, but it's kind of tricky how you do it. There we go. Just got the air duct. And we got the other piece in the front here. That looks like it redirects air over to those two modules. What are those? Well, Tom, those two modules are the SSDs. We got two here that are rated together with the T2 chip. Could go ahead and pop those out, show you guys. These are actually the two uh, flash modules. They are in their SSDs. Um, we got the one terabyte model. So these are two 500 uh, gigabyte uh, flash modules. Again, they're rated together and controlled by the T2 chip. Next, we got these screws on the back here to remove the fan unit. We'll go ahead and undo those. Couple more screws, a few more screws we gotta get rid of to get the fan unit out. All right, now the fan should just pull right up. All right, so we're gonna remove uh, this heat sink here. So we got that heat sink out of the way. Has some uh, thermal paste on it, holding it in a little bit. Yeah, more thermal paste. Keep that chip nice and cool. Went ahead and took out a lot of the screws ar uh, around the backside for the frame. We got a couple more things here to remove and then we can remove the chassis from the motherboard assembly. What's that little hatch covering up that you it's just took off? This is actually uh, this is part of the ribbon cable that connects the, the top power button and uh, Thunderbolt ports to the rest of the motherboard. So these just pop up like that. Separate there. All right, think we can take the chassis off now? Yeah, if you wanna help me out here, you just gotta finagle a little bit. And there we go. Well, Brady, you took out a ton of screws, every kind of size it looks like. Yeah, in order to separate the two, we had to remove all these screws from both front and back side. But at this point, we're ready to separate the two. So what's left? You have a battery here. How long do you think it'll run on just the battery power? <laughs> That's actually in case you lose power to ensure the BIOS uh, settings remain correctly. So at this point, all we have left is the processor. Why don't we go ahead and clean that up a bit and get it out of there and show you all. Tom, this is our 3.3 gigahertz 12 core processor. Go ahead and remove the, the bracket here so we could remove it from its socket. And there you go, look at that. Okay, Brady, we've taken about everything off we can possibly take off of this. We're down to just the logic board. What, what's on here? Well, first we got the, the T2 security chip here. That controls the SSDs and is charged of a lot of security functions of the Mac Pro. We got the power supply connector right there with the two MPX module connectors. We got the chipset there for the logic board. Then we have all of our PCI slots there as well. This is actually the back side of the Quantia chipsets. Help keep those nice and cool for the 10 gig uh, ethernet there. Then we got our additional uh, ports here, two SATA with a Apple's proprietary Molex connector, it looks like, an internal USB-A port. Uh, and then we got, you know, of course, our CPU socket here. 
additional power in case you don't want to use a MPX module, but a standard video card. And then we got our CMOS battery there. And that's about it for this side. Okay, Brady, this is the other side of the board. What do we see in here? Well, we got our 12 DIMM slots for the memory. Some of these systems could go up to 1.5 terabytes. We got a backside of our CPU socket there, help hold in the CPU heatsink wire for the speaker. We got our two sockets there for the SSD flash cards, flash modules. And what are these right here? Those are the, uh, the Quancha chipsets for the 10 gig ethernet. And that's about it for the logic board. Okay, Brady, I, I've heard that you can take these feet off and put wheels on. Yeah, now that we have everything out of the inside in a bare frame, we could easily access the hole for the foot. All right. Well, there you go, Tom. Very easy to remove. Just a simple four millimeter hex key. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything else we can take off of this thing. I think we're done. Well, Brady, uh, this was very interesting. It came apart fairly straightforwardly. I liked all the uh, modules, the way they came out. It's very well engineered, I thought. Yeah, Tom, Apple did an excellent job designing this. It was, a, it was a great piece of machinery to work on, and I really enjoyed it. My favorite part was this big GPU, this big Radeon Vega 2 Duo. Very powerful. Can't wait to get into it and, and check it out. And with that, I'm Brady. And I'm Tom. Don't forget to check us out at maxsales.com or the Rocky Yard blog. Have a good day, everyone.